Welcome back, everybody. I just look at that. That looks, <laughs> from this angle, it looks a little weird because his arm is off that way because you can't see the other arm. If you go over here, you can see both arms and it's not so bad. So you, you just have to be right here. But I don't know any other way to do that unless you stick the arm like out the front. You know, attach it to the body right there. So you can see it from both angles. Uh, oh well. Just something I noticed. Okay, I was working up here a little bit, finishing this road. I do have some snow um, control to do. And I think that's mainly going to be, you know, like uh, popping in some flowers here. I've got some bone meal and I'm going to need to dig through and get rid of all this stuff. But we have this little area over here. that I think I'd be good for a new little newsstand. You know, as you're coming down the little walkway, you're going to just stop by and get your morning newspaper. There, 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 there. Um, let's get rid of these. Because I'm not building a snow castle, so I really don't need the snow. There. And since that did get all snowy, I'm going to put some plants here. Um, yeah, I've got this. I can put some seeds here, so this should keep it from getting snowbound. Maybe a um, one of these. I can put one of those there. That'll work. And then some bone meal there. All except for this one here. There. Okay, that's fixed. No snow in that corner. Of course, now I re messed up all my blocks. There we go. So like I said, this would be a little newsstand. So if I put one here, one here, one here, and one here. So those would be the four corners. And then we would have and I don't know if I need I don't know if I need this wall back here I might actually take this wall back here and use it this will be like where the um, the cashier guy sit the news the news yes, newsstand guy because someone needs to take the change or at least Keep an eye so people aren't stealing the newspapers. Oops, come on. There. Let's just do another one here and here. And then we have the roof. And I think, or I thought, if I did... this so I might take a few of these but I could just put all of these down as a roof and it shouldn't get any snow on it because this technically half a block or the bottom block there and let's do that that'd be good we'll do this Oh, hmm. Well, maybe they'll, they'll just do it that way. I guess I don't really care which way these little bars, iron bars, I guess they're iron bars. I'm not sure what those are. So I don't really care which way those go. Yeah, that makes a nice little cover. I need to... Uh, Snowproof all that, and then I need to go through here and do this. But let's see. Oh, I was gonna do. See, I was gonna do this, but I don't think I want to. I think what I'm gonna do is put. I think I can put item frames directly on top of here. 
Do I have an idle frame? I'm going to have to check and see. I may not be able to. If I can't, we'll have to use the slab method. But mainly this will be empty and this these will be newspapers. I was wandering through my city and there was a creeper up on the roof. You see him over there. So I think now I know where the mobs are coming from. There we go. So he's up here. I just heard him pop down. You know, oh, yeah, I don't think. Oh, look at that. Just a couple. Ooh, some spots over there, too. Just a couple spots I need to patch up. Um, I wonder, do I have any, let's do, yeah, and it's raining and snowing and ugly out. And I was actually heading to bed to uh, get rid of this rain. So let's see if I do... Uh, one short, but that that should work right there. Okay, let's get rid of this rain. We can move on to better, bigger and better things. So I'm just finishing up my roof here. Like that. Oh, dang it. But it shouldn't get any snow on it because it's the uh, on the bottom of the slab. And then I kind of like these little overhang there. It makes it kind of look more professional there or more complete. Oh, let's see. I want to put crafting table there and a chest here. And then... Got a couple of these, so I thought instead of uh, like a bench, let me you know that'll is actually that is a bench instead of a uh, checkout stand. It's just like kind of like a little bench. That's where it's kind of off. Oh, it's because yeah, because this it's not straight across. I didn't go all the way over there. That's fine. That's fine. That'll work. Ah, oh, dang it. That's what I thought. I cannot put my uh, item frames on top of fence. So we're going to have to do this. Like that. And then maybe... Trying to think. Yeah, I don't like the way that looks. I thought maybe something in the middle here, but if we do something like that. Oh, I only got. Well, I do have a. I've got planks. And then we'll have a oop, there and there. Yeah, so it's really simple. It's just a simple, simple stand. Um, maybe, you know, I will do that. Just finish up that whole site, kind of make it look a little neater. There'll be fencing along the top here. So kind of like I have up there, it'll continue along the top of the wall. So that's really, you know, no one will be able to walk on top of that. So that's good. I just have to get my newspapers to come in here. And really they're 
probably the same ones I have on the hill up there. I've got a, the new stand I put up there with the, the daily rag and the tattler and that kind of stuff. And then I guess the last thing I need to do is just work on this over here. So not much more to go. Now I guess I do want to mention I made the mistake. I guess it's not a mistake, but I saw the Minecraft teaser trailer for the new movie. Um, let's say not surprised, but not happy. I mean, if you're going to make a movie, at least make a decent one. But I, you know, I don't mind the animation, although it's a little hokey for my taste. Um, and I guess maybe it's made for children, but I would think children have good taste too. They're children, just because you're ch a child doesn't mean you uh, like garbage, or tear garbage stuff. But I, I, it almost I wonder. I don't know the whole history of how this show came about, um, other than usually a, a video game movie is a bad idea, just from history. But I have this still in it. You know, they wanted to do a movie. They thought of the animation, which doesn't look too, I mean, it's stylized, it doesn't look too bad. Although it does kind of remind me of the old um, Minecraft and real life videos you used to see 10 years ago or so. But even though that's not too bad, it's, it's you know, it's kind of, some of the, you know, it's kind of funny and cute, some of it. Uh, however, um, just, this is just my opinion of the way I'm thinking but it almost seems like they this, they came up with the idea of movie okay so let's get a couple kids who go through a portal and experience Minecraft for real and then they go on some kind of adventure to save villagers or some battle the pig pillagers or something you know just some simple little story like that and then I think just based on how Hollywood is in the kind of People who are in charge who don't know, don't seem to know anything about how to make a decent movie people want to watch. Uh, it sounds like they, someone up above said, oh no, you know, if we're going to have, we can't have just total unknowns. We need to get stars in it that people recognize. So let's get, let's add a couple people in there like uh, Jason Momoa. Everyone likes Jason Momoa. He's great. He's a great, and I like Jason Momoa, but in that trailer, he looked like a total doofus, you know? I mean, you know, the, his hair's like all, he doesn't he have a, he doesn't own a comb, I mean, and he wearing this funny pink, I mean, he looked like some kind of teenage reject out of the 80s, you know? I, I don't know if that's how the, I don't know how kids dress nowadays, like, but he dressed like a child, and or how an adult thinks a child should dress. I mean, I don't know if that is the hip new style. Unfortunately, I hope not, because that is just it. Just sort of looks silly. I mean, it looks like he's in some kind of pop band or something. But I have a feeling like the um, the executives or someone in charge said, "Oh, we can't have." a couple semi unknown children in it that's that's not going to sell no one's going to watch it so we'll get we'll get a superstar like you know Jason Momoa and Jack Black Jack Black's always good everyone loves Jack Black so let's put him in a movie so it's kind of like they wanted to cram you got to cram a couple superstar names in there so they had to so they rewrit rewrote or just sort of crammed it all in there and then you got to have a got to have a female lead in there too because you can't just have a male lead and can't have just a girl lead and you know you have to have an equal balance so that's you know that's just how things work now so that that's just the impression i get and it just looked cheesy just utterly cheesy and geez can't you know if you're gonna hire like someone to do play steve at least make him look like steve but he looks like jack black I mean, he like just wandered off his concert tour, wandered in and to shoot the movie and 
they just say, here, wear this blue shirt, and here you go. And like, oh, look, it's Jack Black. Everyone loves Jack Black. They'll think it's funny, but he, he didn't even, you know, Steve doesn't have a beard, and he didn't really look like Steve, unless well, he's kind of square and flat, but fat. But, but you know, it's, it just, I, I, I'm almost at a loss for words about how bad I think that. I mean, I, I don't think, you know, live action video game movies usually don't turn out for the best. I'm trying to think of one it did. Um, so I wasn't, I didn't have high hopes for it in the first place when I heard about it. But they sure just went with a pure animated. Just do an animated like a Lego movie. I like the Lego movies. Those are cool. So get some decent writers. Well, and cramming in like the superstars in there um, just kind of stinks of not having a decent script. Or, or they just didn't trust the script. So it's like they just thought. Let's, uh, we've got to put some star power in here so people will come and see it. You know, and they don't really trust the story. Usually that's when you start throwing stars into movies. Uh, you don't think the story's strong enough to contain the movie. So you're going to kind of load it up with uh, hot names and attractions to get people in because they're not going to come in for the story. They're going to come in for the people in the movie. But um, I don't think it's... I'm not going to watch it. Maybe a bunch of little kids will watch it, but I, I'm i not sure they're going to... Well, maybe they'll enjoy it. I mean, but I hope they're smarter than that. Or maybe it's really good and I just don't know. I mean, it is a teaser trailer, so I got to see a minute of it. Um, and that's not very long, but... The whole point of a teaser trailer is to tease the movie to get you all excited to see the movie. And it's that didn't do that for me. And I didn't seem to do it for a lot of people from the, what little I've seen on the Internet of it. So, um, so I'm not sure, you know, I mean, I will even, you know, like I remember teaser trailers. What was it? Um, years ago, they did the. Uh, the new Star Wars movie, that uh, Force Awakens. Before we knew anything about it, before we even saw it, they did a trailer like during a Super Bowl or during a playoff game or some kind of football game. Holy cow, people were like lined up in the bar ready to see this thing. And actually the trailer, I thought the trailer was, it was, it was, it kind of got my interest up. So oh, this looks good. I may watch it. And, and I did watch it. And then sadly, my impression was meh. It's like, you waited all these years to do a Star Wars movie and this is all you give me? It's like, I mean, because it was like mid, totally mid. The, you know, the plot was kind of meh. The acting wasn't meh. I mean, they didn't really, you know, it's just sort of a rehashing of old things. Uh, the Han Solo, Chewbacca cameos were eh. And then they, uh, and they, it's just a horrible story. Horrible story. Horrible movie. It shot beautifully. Um, the trailers are great. Look great. But um, I tried to, I was excited to go see it. And then when it came out, it's like watched it. And it, my, honestly, when I got out, the movie's done. My, my whole impression was meh. That was it. I mean, it wasn't, oh, it's got off. Was I got to, you know, throw a fit and you know, protests and all that kind of stuff. But it was just like, yeah, I mean, it didn't get me excited to want to see the next ones. And I won't even get into those. Oh, oh, I need to go get the newspapers and then we should be done. Boy, I'm rambling again. We've got some papers, the Post and the Times. Got those sticking up around here. We got a Chronicle, The Inquisitor, Daily Planet, that's always a good one to look at, The Tatler, and The Daily Bugle. And I'm missing one. One, two, three. One, two. I am missing one. 
I know I made eight of them. Because I made six, and I made these two. Ah, oh, well, I'll have to go find those. But there is our newsstand. Oh, I need to find something to go here. Oh, I think I'm, I'll put some, uh, some of the spruce fence once I get it taken care of. Anyhow, I am done for the day. Going to stop complaining. We're just uh, got everything built here. I'm going to let you all get back to your day. I hope you're hope you're enjoying it, and I will see you all later. Bye bye. Ooh, as the sun sets in the distance, it's always nice watching the sunset.